This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 834, The Market Right Now Doesn't Care How Fantastic Your Stocks Are, by Vitaly Katzenelson of ContrarianEdge.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host. Welcome to Optimal Finance Daily, where I read to you from some of the best personal finance blogs on the planet. And before we get going today with our post, I want to thank SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Save time and money no matter what you ship or mail with the SendPro Online software. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates for as low as $4.99 a month. Try it free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com finance. That's pb.com finance. And now let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. The Market Right Now Doesn't Care How Fantastic Your Stocks Are by Vitaly Katzenelson of ContrarianEdge.com. The Roman philosopher Seneca wasn't talking about the stock market when he wrote that time discovers truth, but he could have been. In the long run, a stock price will reflect a company's true intrinsic value. In the short run, the pricing is basically random. Here are two real-life examples. Let's say you had the smarts to buy Microsoft in November 1992. It would have been a brilliant decision in the long run. The software giant's stock has gone up many-fold since. But nine months later, in August 1993, that call did not look so brilliant. Microsoft shares had declined 25% in less than a year. In fact, it would have taken you 18 months until May 1994 for this purchase to break even. 18 months of dumbness? In the early 1990s, the PC industry was still in its infancy. Microsoft's DOS and Windows operating systems were de facto standards. Outside of Apple Macs and a tiny fraction of computers, every computer came pre-installed with DOS and Windows. Microsoft had a pristine balance sheet and a brilliant co-founder and CEO in Bill Gates who would turn mountains upside down to make sure the company succeeded. That last sentence is infested with hindsight. After all, that was almost 30 years ago, but Microsoft clearly had an incredible moat which became wider with every new PC sold and every new software program written to run on Windows. Here's another example. GoPro is a maker of video cameras used by surfers, skiers, and other extreme sports enthusiasts. If you had bought the stock soon after it went public in 2014, you would have paid $40 a share for a 5.5 billion market cap company earning about $100 million a year a price-earnings ratio of about 55. Your impatience would, however, have been rewarded. The stock more than doubled in just a few short months, hitting $90. Would it have been a good decision to buy GoPro? The company makes a great product, I own one, but GoPro has no protective moat around its business, none. Most components that go into its cameras are commodities. There are no barriers to entry in the specialized video camera segment. Most important, there are no switching costs for consumers. Investors who bought GoPro after its IPO paid a huge premium for the promise of much higher earnings from a company that might or might not be around five years later. What is even more interesting is that some of those buyers were then selling to even bigger fools who bought at double the price a few months later. GoPro was a momentum stock that was riding a wave about to break. Fast forward a few years and GoPro sales have been on decline. Nowadays, its stock trades below $6. These two examples bring us to the non-trivial topics of complex systems and non-linearity. My favorite thinker, Nassim Taleb, wrote the following in his book, Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain from Disorder. Quote, Complex systems are full of interdependencies, hard to detect, and non-linear responses. Non-linear means that when you double the dose of, say, a medication, or when you double the number of employees in a factory, you don't get twice the initial effect, but rather a lot more or a lot less, end quote. The stock market is a complex system where in the short term, there are few, if any, interdependencies between decisions and outcomes. In the short run, stock prices are driven by thousands of random variables. Stock market participants have different risk tolerances and emotional aptitudes and diverse time horizons, ranging from milliseconds for high-speed traders to years for long-term investors. In other words, predicting where a stock price will be in a day, a month, or even a year is not much different from prognosticating whether the ball on a roulette wheel will land on red or black. In the longer run, good decisions should pay off because fundamentals will shine through, as was the case with buying Microsoft in 1992 and not buying GoPro in 2014. But in the short run, there's no correlation between good decisions and results. Whenever you look at your portfolio, think of Microsoft and GoPro. 
The performance of your stocks in the short run tells you absolutely nothing about what you own or about the quality of your decisions. You may own a portfolio of Microsofts and its value is going down because at this juncture, the market doesn't care about Microsofts. Or maybe you stuffed your retirement fund with overpriced fads that may not be around a year from now. But in the longer run, remember what Seneca knew. Time discovers truth. You just listened to the post titled, The Market Right Now Doesn't Care How Fantastic Your Stocks Are by Vitaly Katzenelson of ContrarianEdge.com. And hey, you don't need to waste any more time waiting in line to send mail and packages. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, you can send packages and mail right from your desk for as low as $4.99 a month. And for being an Optimal Finance Daily listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started. As an added bonus, you'll also receive a free 10-pound scale shipped right to your door to help you accurately weigh your packages. Save time and money no matter what you send, from packages to overnights and letters. Just click, send, and save with this new offer for SendPro Online. Starting at only $4.99 a month, you can print shipping labels and stamps from your own printer, easily compare rates using online software, gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping, and track all of your shipments with email notifications when they've arrived. Go to pb.com slash finance to access this special offer and get a free 30-day trial plus that free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash finance. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. And that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for listening and for subscribing, and I will see you back here for the Friday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.